Here we go. The new beast, Webworks. I did a 10.43. There's a man with the largest calves. Needs two racing licenses. One for his calves. One for his bike. Uh, How's that feel, Dan? Hawks good action? It's not real good today. <laughs> what you got at the corkscrew? It's like an Adelaide. One of the hardest climbs in Adelaide. It's a... Uh, Epic. <sighs> and you got a lot of durian. Okay, fruit boy, enough with all the fancy photos and blah, blah, blah. How does the bamboo bike actually ride? Is it good? What pros and cons? Fill us in, get us up to speed. I've never actually had a driver's license. I'm 34 years old, I've never had a driver's license. So I've had a chance to ride a lot of different bikes. And in my experience and opinion, the bamboo, hands down, most comfortable road bike you can get, definitely. You know, I've ridden the top line Trek, Specialized, Cannondales, Titanium, Steel, Alloy, Carbon Composite, Titanium, Carbon, all these mixes. Some beautiful bikes out there, but the Bamboo, it's incredible. It's just so smooth. I'll do a 300k, 400k bike ride, smooth as. I'll do a, a race on a rough roads, smooth as. Cyclocross, smooth as. Bamboo is just so good. It's a little bit heavier. My bike weighs 9.6 kilos. It's the heaviest bike in uh, Div 1 in my racing or my training rides or whatever, it's always the heaviest bike. Doesn't matter because end of the day, it's who's pushing the bike that matters. You know, if you're trying to save 20 seconds up a 20 kilometer climb in the Tour de France, then yeah, maybe it's a little bit of a disadvantage. But hey, two kilos on a bike is hardly anything. You're better off dropping two kilos off your gut than a t you know, two kilos out of your pocket by spending you know, crazy amount of money on stuff you don't even need. I mean, I've ridden like a, the top of the line Trek this year, the 6.9 SSL. Great bike, lovely bike, looks pretty cool, super light. But out the saddle, it's just flexy like a noodle up the front. You know what I mean? It's just flexy as. That's why they're all going to oversize bottom, uh, bottom bearing races. Because when you have a full carbon fork and it's super light, you're going to have flex. You can't have strong you know, durability and stiffness when you're... You, it's that light, it's just not possible, that's why they're all going oversize, oversize everything. So definitely, I'm into practicality, I'm into durability. My strength as a cyclist is climbing and endurance, stamina. So I need bikes that can go the distance, that I'm not going to have to worry about if I have a crash, is it secure to ride it anymore. 
things like that. I'm into durability, and if you want durability, you gotta go extra weight. I ride alloy bars, alloy steerer, alloy stem, alloy seat post for durability, you know what I mean? For me, durability is key. Stiffness is key, comfort is key. My strong point isn't descending, and I find the bamboo bike helps me uh, rail the corners more. How the extra weight of the bike adds to extra security, extra stability when you're going downhill. You don't, you don't feel like you're about to get bounced off the bike because it's so thick and light. So definitely the bamboo bike has helped me uh, with my descending a lot, a lot more. How about stiffness? Out the saddle stiffness, man, is so stiff. You know, especially the front end, you know, the alloy bars, stem and steer, it's just so stiff, you know, there's no flex there at all. No noticeable flex at all. Bottom bracket stiffness, just get out the saddles and mash up the climbs, not a problem. So I'm a big fan of the bamboo bike. So what's the negatives? Negatives. There's no real negatives. Like I said, if I was a Tour de France rider trying to save 20 seconds, up a 20k climb, then yeah, maybe the extra two kilos might be a factor. Otherwise, zero negatives of bamboo bike. The positives, durability, comfort, price tag, individuality. You're going to be the only person riding a bamboo bike. Conversation started, everyone's like, what's that, man? You know, you watch out for the pandas, they might eat your bike and make sure you get a termite inspected. So things like that, it's a great, a really fun bike to ride. Wherever in the world I am, everyone stops and looks at the bamboo bike. It's, it's quite a, what you need because everyone loves a bike man you know what I mean it brings us back to our childhood and hey basically as adults we're all just big kids anyway life's fun life's short grab yourself a bamboo bike and hit the road and tell me what you think tell me what your experiences are with bamboo bike and post it down below thanks for watching guys peace keep on riding